Hi guys, Mike here from Mikey Reviews, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to change the speedometer meter reading from being miles per hour to kilometers per hour and vice versa when using the multi-view overlay on Play Memories Home. So first of all, to be able to even use the multi-view, you will need a GPS enabled video file. So you'll need an action cam such as one of the Sony's AS30 or AS100V to uh, to be able to use that because those two action cams actually have GPS whereas AS15 doesn't. You need to make sure the GPS is enabled when you're recording and obviously it has signal and um, you will then need to import it off your, your action cam using the Play Memories Home software because it will then drag the um, GPS details along with it. So once you've got that you will notice if your video file has the GPS enabled because there's this little blue and white icon uh, in the top right uh, corner of the video. So you want to go to edit media files and then create multi view. So basically when I drag this along and then I go to next it will then create this overlay. Now at the moment it's displaying kilometers per hour. Now you may be having the same issue uh, either kilometers per hour and you want it to be miles per hour or you may be on miles per hour and want it on kilometers per hour. So um, what the, basically it's a very simple solution and there's nothing to do with uh, the settings in the software it's all to do with the settings on your computer so if i cancel this you want to go to this is based on windows uh, 7 operating system by the way so you want to go to start and then you want to go to control panel over here it says clock language and region just click on the change keyboards and other uh, sorry or other input methods so click on that and then to the left you have the formats tab. So once you're on there, go to additional settings and then if we go down to the measurement system, now this is what changes um, to kilometers per hour to miles per hour. If you have metric enabled, it'll be kilometers per hour. If you select US, it'll be miles per hour. So if I now change metric to US, click, click apply and then go to OK. Um, and let's just close this all down as well. Now watch this, right? I'm going to go back to Edit Media Files, Create Multi View, and then I'm going to drag the same video file over and then press Next. Now look at this. It's now displaying miles per hour. So this is exactly what I want, and it's that simple. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I honestly hope that this has helped you. Uh, I'm not going to take credit for this because I did find it on the internet. It did take a hell of a lot of searching, um, but I wanted to share this to you guys because I couldn't find another video that was actually um, showing how this is done. So I hope this has helped. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you find my videos helpful, and I hope to see you on my next video.